Why'd you want to sit down and talk today? Oh, gosh. There's so many um, stories, you know. And I want to explain what happened. I'm not racist. Neither is Piers racist. Walk us through what happened on Wednesday. Wednesday, I arrived at the studio late. One of our showrunners was going up the stairs. She said, do you want to um, clear up the Piers thing again? I said, hey, if you want me to, I will. Then at 8 minutes to 11, our showrunner says, how do you feel about maybe one of them doesn't agree with you? And I said, well, that's all right, too. OK, thanks. Sharon said what unfolded on air felt like a betrayal from her co-hosts after a pact they made in February. There was a situation in February. Carrie Ann was given a question to ask Elaine, and Carrie Ann didn't want to ask it, but it came from the producers to ask Elaine. And it was, if black people can use the N-word, why can't white people use the N-word? I would love to hear what you have to say which is a very naive question to ask. We all know why. So Elaine got very upset with her response. Carrie Ann started to cry. So we agreed we would never be surprise each other with questions if we thought the other one hadn't been prepped. And we said we will never put ourselves in this situation again where we set each other up. So we all agreed as women, got your back. I finished saying what I'm saying, and then Cheryl asked me these questions, which I didn't know, and they were written questions, and then Elaine's reading her questions. Stand up for anti-racism. And I'm like, I've been set up. Don't try and cry, because if anyone should be crying, it should be me. And I went like, how dare you all? do this to me. I'm your sacrificial lamb. So in the break, I'm like, talk to me, Cheryl. Talk to me. What is going on? She wouldn't. I lost it even further. Sharon did take to Twitter the next day and apologize, saying, quote, to anyone of color that I offended or let down, I am truly sorry. I panicked. But she did not publicly apologize to Cheryl. I want you to hear from me. Do you regret how things spun out of control with Cheryl? Regret? Oh, my God. Cheryl's my friend of nearly 11 years. What do you want to say to Cheryl? I love Cheryl. I love Cheryl. I've apologized to Cheryl. She's not gotten back, and I, I can understand Cheryl needs her time. Do you understand how people could look at it and say, you telling her not to cry could look like you are attacking Cheryl? Oh, I was having, I was having a go at my friend. I got too personal with Cheryl. I should never have said about her tears. I should never have dismissed her feelings on national TV, ever. But I said it, I have to own it. And I was so angry. I cannot begin to tell you, not with Cheryl, not with Elaine, not with anybody, but a company that I've worked at for 11 years. What was the goal, do you think? What was the goal in? Because I think that CBS was so horrified with Piers for the things he was saying, because remember, Harry and Meghan, it's a CBS interview. I had sided with Piers, so it's the cancel culture, isn't it? Throw her under the bus. And our two showrunners were crying, and then they said that we were told to ask these questions from the executives. The executives. Who? who? They wouldn't give me names. I've seen you handle some very hot and hard topics. Why did this throw you? because I just felt this is the biggest setup ever and I'm falling into it and I'm going deeper down this hole. A spokesperson for CBS tells ET they are, quote, very mindful of the important concerns expressed and discussions taking place regarding events on the talk. The show will extend its production hiatus until next Tuesday as we continue to review these issues. I'm sorry, I don't believe a word she says, Mega Mama. For someone with that large of a megaphone, that was unbelievable. Yeah, I never agreed with it. I agree with his freedom of speech. He's a provocateur. I kept saying, show me where he's been racist. Show me, show me, show me. I don't know. Tell me. Educate me. Let me read it. Right, and, but in many ways, that was your job to know his background. 
because he's your friend. He's my friend. And for the times that I have worked with him, I have never, ever been a party to anything in his company that has ever been racist, ever. Have you talked to Pierce since this? Yeah, sure, he checks in on me every day. He feels really bad because me standing up for his right of speech mm -hmm. has got me where I am today. Today, Leah Remini became the second former co-host of Sharon's to accuse her of using racist language at the talk. The season one co-host told journalist Yashir Ali Sharon would refer to Julie Chen, who's Chinese-American, as, quote, wonton and slanty eyes. This, days after Holly Robinson Pete said Sharon had her fired for being, quote, too ghetto. Sharon denies both claims. People who are let go along the way get pissed off. I'm the big girl with the big mouth, so they fire it at me. But I'm not a fool. Don't accuse me of something that's a lie. What do you think they're gonna come back with out of this investigation? All I said was, yeah, I want an investigation. I wanna know who was the executive that said to ask me these questions. And I want to know why I was left out to dry on national TV. What do you want to happen with the show? Um, I wish that we could go on and have a adult conversation calmly and work it out, but I don't know whether we can. I don't know whether it's gone past that, but I don't know whether I even want to go back. I don't know whether it's, I don't know whether I'm wanted there.